Welcome to my channel, Light Minded. This is going to be an overview for the energies for November 2021. So starting, we're going to have a new moon in Scorpio. So this really represents fresh starts. This is a really good time to set goals. Scorpio is about transformation. This is also a good time to break any bad habits that you may have. So on November 5th, Venus enters Capricorn. This transit encourages us to be more mature in our relationships. You know, for some of us, we may um, be working on stop picking petty fights and really looking at the big picture, looking at the long term benefits of learning to choose your battles. So take that message as it resonates. So on Sunday, November 14th, this is a time for romantic relationships to go to another level, like leveling up, um, increasing the passion, increasing the communication, um, adding some type of depth to the relationship. This is also a good time for signing contracts. This could be marriage, this could be moving in together, so like signing a lease, and this could be also um, you getting a job offer, so you starting a new job and signing a contract. So November 15th, the sun squares Jupiter. So for some of you, this may be a little bit of a stressful energy. You may find that people may be a little bit full of themselves, a little stubborn, a little immature. For some people, they may be covering up some type of insecurity. The best thing you can do in this energy is really focus on maintaining the maturity. So on Friday, November 19th, this brings us to the full moon and the lunar eclipse in Taurus. So eclipses can bring a little bit of wild card factor, you know, elements of surprise, things being unexpected. This is a good time to stay in, relax, watch a movie, possibly focus on your self care, stay away from drama, confusion. You know, you may want to take a break from social media. So like I said, so November 19th is a really good day to partake in self care, really take care of yourself. Maybe a good time for journaling, reflecting, and relaxing. So on November 21st, this kicks off Sagittarius season. So happy birthday to all of the Sagittarius out there that will start their birthday season in November. So Sagittarius season really calls for you being your amazing authentic self. This is really going to kick up the social events as far as um, Thanksgiving and birthdays and Christmas and the holiday event and the holiday spirit. So this concludes the November overview. Now on to your November 2021 reading. Hello, my lovely Leos. So let's go ahead and see what messages spirit has for you guys. So for the month of November, I think it's going to be very important. Um, Spirit gave me the message of health as well. So any type of checkup, self-care is going to be very important. Also, focusing on ways to ground yourself is going to be very essential for November for you guys. So if any of you guys need to get a checkup, you need to go to the doctor or the dentist, make sure that you do that. Spirit, what messages for sun, moon, and rising? Leo. Have faith in your dreams. So with have faith in your dreams, I really feel like this is going to be a very important month to literally have faith in your dreams and, you know, spend time with your dreams, manifest your dreams, visualize your dreams, you know, look at the details of what you want to bring into your life. I think that's going to be very important in the month of November. Choose wisely. Okay, so you have a seven. So sometimes with this energy, some of you may have um, a lot of different options. For some of you, you know, you may have this energy of confusion. Um, you may be a little bit overwhelmed with your choices. You're not really um, sure of what to choose. So this is about really using your intuition. For your love message, you have trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Wow, so faith is coming up again, not only in your dreams and your desires, but also in your love relationships. That could be your partnership. That could be um, a friendship or a family member. So let's go ahead and cut the deck just to see what energies we may be dealing with in the month of November. So we have the Page of Wands and we have the Nine of Cups. So 
So I feel like you guys are going to be receiving some messages. I feel like these messages are going to bring in some good news. For some of you, this could be in regards to work or creative passion project, or it could be love messages as well. But these messages are really going to make you feel um, very good inside, very satisfied. This is about wishes being fulfilled. Very beautiful, Leo. So Spirit, what messages for Leo's? Oops. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Cards going everywhere. So you're starting out with Judgment. The Five of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles. And the King of Swords. So the overall energy is the Ten of Swords. So this is about some type of cycle completing. For some of you, you know, you could be going through some type of difficult situation, some type of uncomfortable situation, you know, but this is about some type of separation. This is about some type of ending. This is something that you're manifesting. This is something that, you know, you have all the tools uh, to bring in this ending, to end whatever this is, ending of a toxic relationship or um, toxic environment, or maybe, you know, ending of some type of lack or poverty uh, mindset. So you guys are really going to be trying to move into this energy so you can grow, so you can build with the three of pentacles here. Yeah, grow and build so you can move into this energy of the ten of cups, you know, emotional fulfillment, feeling satisfied with the rainbow in the back representing harmony you know happy life happy wife happy children however your family dynamic looks some of you may be a little bit tired a little bit exhausted with the nine of wands there but spirit is saying you're being persistent and you're not giving up so for the first week in november we're starting off with the judgment card for some of you you could be going through some type of rebirth renewal you could have some type of opportunity like a second chance from the past come in Okay, so you have the Ace of Cups to clarify. This is about a new beginning. This is about your fulfillment. So like I said, with this rebirth energy, it is going to be some type of blessing that comes in that makes you feel very emotionally secure. The second week of November, you do have the Five of Pentacles. This could be feeling like there's some type of lack, whether it comes to finances, love, confidence. There's some type of lack here. Maybe some type of lack of control. Maybe for some of you, you feel like you have some type of lack of control when it comes to your life. Spirit just said direction. Maybe it's some type of lack of control in the direction of your life because you also have choose wisely. So the second week of November, it is really important for you to stay grounded, really connecting with your higher self, meditating, spending time in nature, because this is going to allow you to connect to the divine, to um, hear those messages from your uh, spiritual team. So then you have the seven of pentacles. This is about you planting your seeds, you tending to them. For some of you, you worry about your investments. You doubt it. There's some type of stress, some type of fear, some type of anxiety. For some of you, um, I'm getting this energy of maybe you're just being a little bit impatient about the seeds sprouting, you know, because in due time, they are going to sprout. Your opportunities are going to come into your life. So then you have the King of Swords. This is an air sign. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So this could be someone coming into your life or this could be your energy. You could have air in your chart. You're going to be receiving messages. And I feel like these messages are from one of these seeds that you've planted. These messages are going to be something financial or valuable in nature. I feel like it's going to be something good. It's going to be some good news. You're going to have like a sigh of relief. Like finally it's coming. Look at this box. You will receive a gift. Now, what type of gift? I don't know, but I'm excited for you guys. Arrow, look at that. Leo, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. So you may feel some type of feeling of, am I on the right path? And spirit is saying that you are. And so is the train. <laughs> spirit, what additional messages? Okay, we have will. So this energy is about being a little bit indecisive. You know, with this energy, this is about choose wisely. So if you do feel that confusion, if you do feel like your mind is in the fog, 
meditate, quiet your mind, journal, write it out because that's really going to help ground you so you can make the right choice. You also have fly, a period of ill health depression. Now this message may not resonate with all of you, but if you are going through some type of health issues, make sure you're taking care of yourself. Make sure whatever you need to do for you, go to the doctor, get a checkup, you know, visit someone, you know, in the holistic sector, you know, whatever resonates with you. But, you know, if you're dealing with any health issues, you know, just don't let it get too far gone. That's what Spirit just said, far gone. Don't let it get too far gone because Whenever spirit brings up help to me, you know, make sure you are taking care of yourself, not only your physical body, but your mind as well. This could be mental health as well. So like I said, take breaks, um, spend time in nature, you know, go outside and take a walk around the park or around the block because this can help with any type of uh, energy or any type of feelings of depression or anxiety, right? You have an eye psychic ability trust your intuition so leo in the month of november intuition is going to be very important you know i feel like you're going to have a heightened sense of psychic abilities this month so very beautiful reading guys please comment below let me know how these messages are resonating also don't forget to like share and subscribe i truly appreciate it wishing you guys love and abundance and until next time